I guess the whole little story behind Galen's Grits all began right here on this farm. Um, my cousin Jason and I were living together here. We had a nice trailer right back here underneath the uh, pecan trees and Gayla and I uh, actually re-met at, uh, in 1996 at a concert in Atlanta at the Fox Theater and started hanging out. Well, she would uh, periodically come down to visit Jason and I and one night we were we were sitting around and we were <laughs> struck by intense hunger around midnight and it was I guess a Saturday night or something and you know your options in Lakeland are quite limited at midnight on a Saturday night so we started looking around uh, the uh, pantry and the refrigerator for something to eat and of course we were we were two males living there, and uh, there wasn't that much to eat, and mostly just drinks. And uh, we found some uh, some grits and some uh, some some old mozzarella cheese, and we found some Texas toast bread, and that's uh, that was the and so, yeah, and some old and it was old sour cream too. So that was the uh, that was the origin of. The original Gable's Grits recipe. Oh, we were just sitting around. Yeah, and that's right. We were like, what can we call yeah. it? And uh, yeah, Jason and said, Jason's like, like, what about Gable's Grits? Yeah. And, and it just happened that night. Well, it started, I guess, basically in the garage with the bagging process. Yeah. We would just literally sit there with a Tupperware full of grits and Mind you, this was before, we, these were all for gifts. So yes, we this was just a friend. We these are the steps that we take to ensure that Gala's Grits uh, is all natural, non-GMO, and gluten-free. So we begin by planting the corn in uh, late March, early April. We use a variety called Trucker's Favorite. This is not, is not genetically modified. It's an old heirloom variety that's in circulation. You know, we baby the corn best we can. We plant it on irrigated farmland. We um, just make sure and, and keep the, the corn nice and fresh and, and, and keep the ground nice and wet with the irrigation. We try to keep, offer as stress-free an environment as we can, which we feel is very important, you know, to, to the flavor. And we also, we let our corn white corn feel dry. We feel like that as well tends to affect the flavor. Take it from there, from the combine, straight to our bin. We put it in the bins and we use air, cold air, to keep the, the weevils and other, other insects out. We clean a certain amount of corn that we think we'll need to get through through the grinding season in the summer and we put that clean corn that's bagged into cold storage so we don't have to use any type of, of treatments. At, here at the mill, we, uh, this is where all the grinding takes place of the white corn and what we do is we have a 30 inch meadows which means the stones inside the, the mill are, are 30 inches. Out of the mill is sent by air over to the separator where where first comes out the mill and then second is their the fine to medium grind grits and then third is the uh, is the coarse ground grits. The environment that we produce our grits in is totally gluten free. So we have the options of a three quarter pound bag, the two pound cloth bag, a, a 1.75 pound round container and then bulk packages in cardboard, cardboard boxes in uh, increments of 25 pounds, so whether it's 25 or 50, 75, 100, and those are, those are our packaging options.